Uh, hey guys, what's up? Today I'll be, uh, going over a program. It is called, uh, Server Creator and Mod Installer. So, when you first get it, it's, when you download it to wherever, uh, it's gonna be in a zip file. So just use WinRAR to open it, and what you're gonna wanna do is click on the folder, Server Creator and Mod Installer, and uh, make a folder somewhere on your desktop. I just named mine Mod Server, and drag both of these into the folder. So I already have that done. Uh, so here's the the thing: Server Creator Mod Installer Version 1.0. I'm just gonna close that for now. Okay, so Mod Installer. This is the first thing you're going to want to do. You uh you you don't have to force update anything. So, you can just click clean and it and this comes up. It says .minecraft/mods folder was cleaned. However, mods installed to minecraft.jar cannot be removed without force updating. So, it removes all the mods folders from there. But if you want all the mods that you've already installed to be gone, uh, you're going to have to force update for that. So, you, to pick your mods, uh, you just simply click on it. You can click on all of them. And click install. So, uh, yeah. Just takes a little bit. And then this will start going and then it'll individually down download every one of them or install every one of them to your minecraft so millionaire and minions take a while but that's not too bad so once this is done i will show you how to set up the server almost done here and once it says complete that means you are all ready to go and it is done you can click finish just give it a second and then this will come up saying all mods installed successfully click OK then click back to the home so to make a modded server you can make a bucket server or a vanilla server or just a mod server I'm just gonna show you how to make a mod server for now so the reason why you dragged these two into its own folder is for the servers because when you click all of these you can click install and then once it's complete this will pop up so I'm not gonna do that because I already have it installed so I'm going to click exit and then once it's installed uh, a thing will pop up uh, saying uh, click uh, dot bat thing or start okay you can just ignore that what I just said so when it pops up you the only thing that'll be in this folder are these three and I think mods are config so just click on the first one if that doesn't work click on number two and if that doesn't work the third one will definitely work and when you click on that it will start up your server just like any regular server like this here's my just regular server it all started up like this this window will pop up and it will start to load your world so stop close that out so when it does you can just wait for it to finish and then click stop or whatever and then you'll get this you'll get your server with all your things uh, max players is pretty high I don't know I haven't really messed around with this too much so to start up the server again uh, you just click on the minecraft underscore server and they'll say done so 
so now let's try this out. I'm just going to close that and start up Minecraft here. And it works, so let's. I already have my server up. Let's log in. I've already been messing around. So now all these mods are installed on the server. There's more mods for single player. I will show you that in a little bit. So yeah, you have all the mods installed. Let's just check out single player now. I was already messing around in a creative world. So let's try this. Let it just load. Frame rate's dropping while it's loading. Going back up. Going down. Going back up. Nope. Yeah, there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, the reason why I'm getting so much lag, I apologize. Uh, I'm currently downloading on a different computer. So that's why. Well, you kind of get it. It's not loading for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to stop the server. So yeah, that has been my overview of the Minecraft Server Creator and Mod Installer version 1.0. Thanks.